What up, gamers? Good evening. Uh, afternoon, morning, whatever time zone you're in. Uh, this is Pokemon Rumble. I'm Rubber Ducky Assassin. You can call me RDA or Ducky or whatever you really want to call me. It doesn't matter. Um, enjoy the cute duck and um, LGBTQ friendly emotes. They're very cool. If you want info on the artists, I can give them to you later. But we're going to get started. Um, timing starts on a selection of a new file. Uh, okay. Uh, starts on the section of a new file. <clears throat> so uh, you can go on go. <laughs> so three, two, one, go. Alright, so Pokemon Rumble. If you haven't seen this before, um, this is a WiiWare game. It came out in 2009 by Umbrella, which is, um, if you haven't heard of that company before, they're the same people that made Pokemon Channel, which is cool. <laughs> um, but this was kind of like a tech demo-y kind of game. Um, now that we know like more about the franchise and whatnot, but they were kind of testing this art style um, for future endeavors, because uh, they used it later on in like Pokemon Ranch and um, uh, the Mystery Dungeon WiiWare games that were only released in Japan. So um, this was like pretty much the prototype of those games. Um, and I think they came out around the same time as each other, but they started working on it first. So what's happening right here is uh, this Rattata is going to the section of a game it's not supposed to, and um, we're gonna, we're, it's going to get punished. Uh, so in this part of the game, we have to like actually just lose as fast as possible. Uh, the first five minutes is basically just tutorial. So we just let the game do what it do. And um, we just try to make it a little faster. Because if you were to just beat this battle royale, if you just got like ridiculously good luck or whatever, had some cheat codes or whatnot, um, the game would let you go past rank C. But once you beat rank B, because uh, there's four ranks in the game, um, the game will actually make you go back to rank C and complete it all, even though you beat this battle royale. It's like a weird <laughs> correction thing the game did. And I was recently found out by someone that did like some tassing with the game. <laughs> Just like some random YouTube video. It was pretty cool. But yeah, so we die as soon as possible. I actually got pretty good luck there with um, the Pokemon uh, surrounding, because some of them cannot one-shot you, but Wigglytuff can. It's cool. So the main point of this game is just get going through the rooms as fast as possible. Um, this category is a differentiation, like, or it's a big differentiation of like how you play the game. Um, Passwords are an eight-digit code that the that Pokemon gave out with the game um, that you can put in, and they just have like sometimes they're shiny Pokemon, sometimes they're just like cool Pokemon with a good move or something like that. Uh, and some of those Pokemon are really good for speed runs, and it makes the speed run a lot more consistent, um, a lot less RNG dependent, what have you, so on and so forth. Um, and no passwords makes it so it's each run is not that they're completely different, but um, each run is very unique to each to itself. Um, there's strats and a similar route that we all go for, but those routes can change depending on the Pokemon that we have to work with. Um, we have to worry about going through the stages as fast as possible, but also getting Pokemon. And if we were doing passwords, we wouldn't have to worry about that. So. This is a pretty cool category. There's usually, there's actually more runners of this category than of passwords. It's just, an, I guess, a little bit more. It is actually more accessible because in order to do passwords, you have to have a completed file. Um, but it's definitely the harder category to one get good at and two like complete runs of. Passwords is definitely a lot easier to do runs of. Um, but similar to regular Pokemon, there's like ranges and damage rolls and stuff like that. 
This Pikachu is a decent power. It's 51. It can range from 48 to 53, so we got a decent power. Doesn't matter too much. <laughs> but um, we can get like a bad damage roll on the Ivysaur, and instead of doing 6 to 7 damage, we do 5 to 6, which does lose a bit of time on this little tutorial segment. But that was pretty good. So if I were doing passwords, I'd just go into those Pokemon right now, if not the tutorial's over, but we're gonna see what uh, what the game has to offer us. So the general strat is to go into Windy Prairie, which is the stage here, and get a Pokemon that is either fast at walking or has a move like Quick Attack um, or Agility. Um, and... Uh, we just kind of like hope for the best, honestly. There's certain instances where there's going to be Pokemon that can drop that'll help with getting other Pokemon to drop. I'll get into that in a bit. But right now I'm just trying to hope it, I get something. Um, I don't really care about everything that's around me. I just really care about Rotatas and Doduos. And that's why. Here we go, Quick Attack. So Quick Attack is one of the main attacks that we're going to be trying to get throughout the run. It becomes a little less valuable um, later on but it's still a really good move, especially when you have it on normal type Pokemon. Um, part of the reason we're going to Windy Prairie is because normal type Pokemon in this game are really, really good. Having a uh, stab, um, just basic normal type move on your normal type is generally pretty good against anything that you're fighting. And as you can see here, Quick Attack has a lot of hitboxes, and it kind of shoots the Pokemon forward. So generally, when we have nothing to work with, having something that just runs through the levels is at least fast for that aspect of the of the run. But now we also now that I got that, I don't have to worry about really getting anything else for going fast the rest of this rank. But now I want to try and get something that is good for fighting, stuff that I can use in the battle royale, or just like in boss fights if I need it. Um, there are certain parts of like each rank where there's like limbo where it really doesn't matter what I collect. Um, in, in some instances it's slower to try and collect stuff, so a lot of time you want to like skip <clears throat> and just kind of run through the stages. But a lot of the time you want to try and at least get one Pokemon, unless you have something that's just like really good. Um, because otherwise you're going to end up not having like anything to work with when you get to the Battle Royale or um, instances where you die on bad luck or something like that. The pool of Pokemon are like going to be the same depending on like the stage you're in. It's just like what Pokemon show up in what room and how much of it shows up is random. close there, but Rattata doesn't have the best defense. Um, the, the way this game goes into, like, stats is it, uh, two quick attack Pokemon. <laughs> I'd rather Vulpix have, uh, Ember, because I, stat is a very, very important, um, like, aspect of this game. Not having a stab move is, like, quite the detriment. Uh, right. Machop is the ideal Pokemon to get here. Um, now that I've completed three levels, you can enter the um, Battle Royale. Or you can get the power to enter the Battle Royale. So you just go into a stage that has good Pokemon for fighting. And just kill everything in lane sight. And hope you get the power. There's, um, so like some of the ways you can make sure something drops is like there's like a sparkly tint to Pokemon. It's like the best way I've been able to describe it. Um, and if you kill a Pokemon that looks like that, it'll always drop. This might be okay. Dude, it wasn't even 100. I'm getting a little unlucky here. It's okay to take a death as well. I didn't have Rychop either. Okay. Crychop is the much superior move that I can have.
Um, but it's okay that we're dying because um, we have to die in order to actually like save whatever we've collected. The only other way to save is um, to just complete the, the stage. Wow, we're getting unlucky. Those aren't good. At least that's our good. Ekans is not that good, but it is uh, doable, I guess. Okay, I didn't get anything. <laughs> I guess I'll just let the Ekans kill me. Come on, guys. <laughs> so now that I got the power, we're just going to die as soon as possible. I'm going to let this little fairy be kill me. Rap actually does a little, like, knockback. Not knock back, does like a stun. Yeah, poison sting, good. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go through all the Pokemon we just got. I'm actually gonna probably just use Machop because it's the strongest thing I got. The Machoke is a little not it's like not a, just a little bit not as strong. The power kind of affects it. I'd rather have Cry Chop, but Low Kick is definitely do like it's it's fine. Just makes some Pokemon not as fast. Um, but this is the Battle Royale. Pretty much, it just gets a pool of Pokemon from each stage, and you have to kill all of them. You have a time limit to complete the Battle Royale. Um, and then the little blue number underneath that is how many Pokemon are left in the Battle Royale. Uh, at the end of each Battle Royale, there's boss Pokemon. There's usually three, sometimes there's four. Um, and there's generally a like number that we're trying to get to as fast as possible to get those bosses to show up. That's what, that's what determines a good battle royale from a bad one. Getting those bosses to show up as soon as possible. Since I got low kick, it's going to take a while to kill these, uh, these Cubone. Instead of just getting a one shot, that's not too bad. I like to just kind of let them do their thing at the beginning. Try to let Pokemon bundle up. It's better to hit multiple Pokemon than just one, if you can. But there's like DI, which is like directional input and all that fun stuff, because it's kind of like a beat em up, walking around, beat em up style game as well. So there's a lot of interesting um, <laughs> dynamics to the speedrun that goes unnoticed. A lot of mashing to skip animations and stuff like that. Um, I guess I'm gonna go into Vulpix. It shouldn't matter too much. We're gonna go back into Windy Prairie and we're gonna hope to get a uh, another quick attack Pokemon. Ideally, it's uh, going to be a Pidgeotto, but if we get a Pidgey, that's okay too. We just want something. But I do already have one. This this Vulpix is quick attack. Oh, hey, a shiny! Get that shiny. So shiny Pokemon are only the only Rumble game that has shiny Pokemon is this one. So there's a very large shiny hunting community for this game, and one of those shiny hunters created a fan game that uh, added Generations 2 and 3 Pokemon to it. Uh, it's called Pokemon Rumble Weekend Edition, which is just basically named after the event that they hold, where they just search for shiny, hunt shiny Pokemon all weekend. <laughs> um, but it's, it's really cool. That Pidgeotto right there was uh, sparkly. That's how I knew it was going to drop. That's why I just wasted a little bit of time going for it. Okay, neither of them are good. 
We're just gonna stay in until we get to the boss. Actually not too bad of a idea. But we're going to Bullet Seed! You know what? This is probably not even that bad. Bullet Seed is not the worst move in this game. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him. You gonna hit me away? No? Okay, I'll kill him. Let's go shiny ex execute. <laughs> okay, we got a quick attack. Let's go. Took a little bit of time, but we got there. Uh, but yeah, so... We're gonna go here first. So, uh... There is a whole fan game that has all of the Generation 2 and 3 Pokemon. And the reason that, they're, that it was made um, so relatively easily as well, or I don't know how easy it was, but quickly, um, is because the Generation 2 and 3 Pokemon are actually in this game's code. They just aren't used. They're just invisible. There's no model for them. So he went in there and put models in there, and including shiny Pokemon. Um, it's really cool. Um, that's a Diego Armando in the chat. There is a um, Pokemon Rumble any percent no passwords. Why I submitted this category, honestly, um, is because we're doing a any percent no passwords tournament that was uh, started and hosted by Diego Lazo, who is another uh, Pokemon Rumble runner. Um, and tomorrow, actually, tomorrow afternoon is going to be the Grand Finals match, and it's going to be between me and uh, Diego Armando, so that's going to be pretty exciting. All right, that went pretty good. We just like got quick attack, ran through the level, not not much uh, going on here. But the cool thing about rank B is it's the only rank in the run where we can get the power we need in uh, a stage earlier than expected. So it is possible to get the pa the 200 power uh, here. We just get good luck. <laughs> we'll see how it happens here. Uh, it's definitely. Uh, a risky strat to go for because sometimes you can get a 200 power Pokemon with nothing to use, no fighting like attack to use. <laughs> so then you have to figure out what to do it from there. But if you get it, it's cool. <laughs> There were a lot of Kadabras. I do like to try and get a Kadabra, but they were kind of out of the way. Hoping for more to show up in the other rooms, but I could also get one here, maybe? Maybe get the Electrode? Or Electabuzz? I always say Electrodes around. <laughs> we did not get the early 200. So, uh, in rank C, we went to the uh, rocky cave to get the Pokemon that we want, but in this rank, we're going to go here. The Pokemon in Fiery Furnace, in, in this rank, they're all just like, really viable. They're all really good. So you can kind of just get anything here, and that's uh, another aspect of the run that is important, is just making sure you have something really strong for the Battle Royale. If you go into a stage that doesn't have good Pokemon for that 200 grind, you're not really going to get some team that's all that good. I 
I would also say that this uh, upcoming Battle Royale is one of the harder ones. There's only four of them in the run, but it's probably the hard, the second hardest one, uh, especially because of how <laughs> this game can does not really give you much. Uh, I guess we'll just stick with the Growl here. Really, just trying to get some get the power here. Maybe. Dang. Okay. Moving on. Getting, getting a fighting type is uh, pretty good. Wow, am I actually like... Nah. Okay. So... <laughs> I just got like really unlucky and just didn't get anything the entire time. Which is uncommon, but it definitely happens. And that happened there. During the... During all of the... Uh, oh, there you go. Okay. That's not the best move, but I guess I have to deal with it, huh? Well, there you go. Showed the two extremes of getting it in the first room and then not getting it all. <laughs> so we're going to try and... Uh... Trying to do this with Bite. It's not the best. Good night to Ranger. Thanks, Ranger, for all your hard work. Shoutouts to Tech. The Tech team. It's crazy um, to think about... I'm pretty sure my first PSR marathon like run was in 2015, I think. <laughs> Something like that. So, crazy to think that it's still going on. <laughs> it's cool to be a part of it. And uh, I believe I was doing a passwords run as that first run, but I've definitely shown off new passwords before, but it's been a little bit. So it's cool to show off uh, Rumble for you guys. For this Battle Royale, there's four bosses. Ooh. That was interesting. There's four bosses, and you have to kill one of them in order to show spawn the spawn that uh, fourth one. So we're gonna try and. I don't know exactly. What's going on. <laughs> they usually kill the uh, Alakazam because it's the weakest one, defense-wise. But since we have Bite, it's also pretty helpful. That's nice. Ideally, we'd get like Ember and Bite, but this wasn't too bad. The Pokemon seem to be kind of bundling up, which is good. Oh, I think he killed the Golem. Good. The Champ is very scary. He one shots a lot of time. Hmm. Actually, didn't go too bad. Back into our quick attack Pokemon here. So rank A is when the power creep will start really starts to go into effect. Um, I feel like they didn't really know exactly what Pokemon to put here, but they just knew that they had to make the Pokemon a little stronger. So they put some like evolved Pokemon, um, but some also like a lot of the same Pokemon that we've seen before, so like these Pidgeotos. Um, 
but around this difficulty is around this difficulty there's a lot more pokemon that showed up shows up in the levels so um quick attack is still helpful and if we get it we're going to use it but ideally i would like to j just get something that's fast like this persian ideally you get a persian to be honest and um a good move to go along with it Uh, I think I was start, like starting to talk about it earlier, and then I got sidetracked, which happens a lot. But um, ooh, it's pretty strong too. Um, but stats work is a dot system in this game. That's a really, really good. That's like a perfect move set. Um, so depending on the base stat total. The Pokemon has a dot, sy dot system of a 1 through 5 for its attack, defense, and its speed. Um, its attack just goes like hand in hand with the special. So like Kadabra, whatever, if it's a special attacker, it has a good attack still. Um, and the speed stat is actually hidden, so we don't see that speed stat, but you can just figure it out what by looking at the um, base stat total. Um, we believe that the models do affect um, like a little bit. Um, um, how fast they're going in the, in the stages, but generally they're all about the same speed. Um, if they have a certain sp speed stat, which it seems to be if it's like 70 or above, then they all have that same speed stat of 5. Like a dots, dots system, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I have a stutter, sorry. So anyway. But this is a, this rank is a pretty interesting rank. Generally, um, you'll see people going the similar route of Windy Prairie, Fiery Furnace, Eternal Tower, but I like to go Eternal Tower second because of how valuable the boss of Fiery Furnace is, and if you can get it to drop, it can be really powerful and you can use it. Uh, Gengar is... it's good to have Gengar last because it can you can just kill it so easily. Doesn't kill it? Okay. Um, but it's just like really weak, so... <laughs> That's why it's typically kept last, but I like to just get it done early. Especially if you don't get anything in, in Windy Prairie, it's good to get Kadabra as like a backup movement Pokemon. Kadabra is really, really good. Um, like, as you can see, this Persian's moving a lot faster than the Pidgeotto I had, so. <laughs> They're about the same speed, um, Persian and Kadabra. Um, Kadabra is just a different kind of fighting type. It's just more of a, uh, a zoner instead of a up, up in front of your face hitting hitting the button a bunch of times. <laughs> okay. It's like the only room where you can really get anything else <laughs> other than a fire type. Um, the cadaver is, is really good if you especially if you don't have anything. It's uh, helpful for the early 200 strat in rank B. But since I have this Persian, I honestly don't really need anything. I could kind of get a Charmeleon, but Charmeleon doesn't have a great move pool. So I don't, I'm not too worried about it. I just kind of want this Charizard to drop. <laughs> Fury Swipes is a really, really busted move in this game, as you can see. It melts the HP. Ooh, I got Charizard. <laughs> Ooh, so with that that um, wheel means that it's a okay. That's not a great move, so. <laughs> but it means that it's a uh, special trait, which is kind of like a nature, but just not every Pokemon has a special trait. Um, so what they do is there's like buffs. Oh, okay. I get that, but not like. 200, which is the harder, easier one to get. 
400, I was going to say, is all, like typically the harder power to get. It's the hardest power to get in the run, generally. But getting it in the first room is also viable. <laughs> you take those. We're going to take the death. Take that nice little time save. And if, I'm probably just gonna do this with the fairy, with Abel. But I have Charizard in the background. <laughs> Pound is not great, but it's not the worst, so. It's, uh, it's, you typically want a fighting type Pokemon. Um, I think I was talking about earlier how normal types are really good in this game, but so are fighting types. Um, I'd say fighting normal, fire, electric, um, flying. So they're all pretty good types in this game. Hit me, it's gonna land. Um, and part of that is because of the the way the moves work in the game so like moves like confusion um in this game are really good compared to like side beam and honestly even psychic i'd rather have confusion over psychic um, because you can do stun locking you can do like really effective zoning through stun locking with moves like confusion um there's kind of like three effective ways of fighting in this game and there's area of attack like area of um of the phrase actually, but it's when the attack goes around the Pokemon in a circle. Um, at the very, that's like a, a pretty helpful um, fighting method with certain Pokemon or with certain moves. Um, Seed Flare being like the main like beneficiary of that. Um, but then there's also just like up close and personal, like the Pound and Karate Chop, and then there's the Zoners. Everything else isn't too viable or, like, good. <laughs> so those are, like, the main fighting styles that you'll see when doing runs, at least. Oh, pretty good. And we're heading into the last rank. We're just going to stay as uh, Clefable. I don't really need to swap right now. The power creep from rank A to rank S is ridiculous. Pretty much everything I have is like just not usable here. So we just try to get something as soon as possible. And also, both of these Pokemon, Firo and Dodrio, can have agility. which um, is pretty helpful. Uh, I want to actually use the Firo with, with uh, Peck, but Aerial Ace is a little better when I'm doing the movement, so we're just gonna do, go with this Firo for now. Maybe I'll get something else. But yeah, hopefully we get Agility. That's kind of the, it's the fast strat, the thing we hope for, go for when he runs. Because um, Agility, like as, it, of course you would know it doubles the walk speed of or your speed of the Pokemon. Um, so that's really busted. <laughs> Just zooming through levels. Barrier release is not too bad. We can't match it, but Firo has uh, has that 70 base or 70 or higher base uh, speed stat, so its walk speed is not bad. We can kinda walk around these aerial ace. I can use that one. That's 515. That's a strong one. Pursuit's not that bad of a move either. <laughs> right, Peck is pretty good. Similar to like Cry Shop and uh, Fury Swipes. Just like fast and. Similar to Pure Stars is a multi-hit move, so... 
is really effective on boss fights and in like battle royales and stuff. Didn't get anything too crazy, but I did get some uh, Pokemon to work with, so I don't have to worry too much in here. Um, ideally, I get a Charizard again. Charizard is one of the best Pokemon in the run. Uh, really good walk, uh, yeah, walk speed. Um, has a really, really good move pool. Um, the reason the Charizard I got had such a weird move pool is because of the special trait. Um, so like a normal like move pool for Charizard is not too bad. You can pretty much use any Charizard you get unless it's just really basic. Sometimes they'll have like fire spin and cut, which is just really unlucky. <laughs> I probably should have uh, gone into my Aerial Ace hero, but it's fine. <laughs> Didn't get too many Charizards to spawn. We're just running through. Uh, any of those Pokemon, we're actually going to come back here for the Power Grind. Uh, it's honestly just coincidence that the Power Grind stages are... Um, like swap between uh, Rocky Cave and Fiery Furnace. It's just, it really is just, just coincidence. But that's just kind of how the Pokemon <laughs> worked in this worked out in those levels. Here's just better. Ooh, I got Moltres. can have agility. Oh, wing attack, interesting. <laughs> I will think about it. So now that I only really have like four Pokemon, kinda, kinda want something else. So I'm gonna hope I get a Alakazam with Confusion. But we're nearing the end, so even if I don't get anything here, it's fine. I just, uh, I'm probably gonna have a little slow Zapdos fight, which is the boss here. But uh, once I complete this stage, I'll be able to start grinding for the 600 power, so we're coming up on the end. We've got pretty good RNG this run, all things considered, even though I had to restart restart the uh, power grind for rank B. I recover pretty well. Let's go Evolution. It's pretty cool. Let's drop in this run. We're just getting some weird, weird good luck. <laughs> inserted in this row. right when I was going to use it. I'll just take this death. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to grind for the 600 power here. I might buy a Pokemon. Which you can do. I'm gonna let them kill me. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Wing attack is a decent move for um, trying to get the Pokemon to drop because it's a multi hit. Some of the th uh, like other things that'll help help us like get Pokemon to drop is getting crits. So high crit chance moves or 
special abilities that or special traits that like raise your crits or multi hits help as well. I'm just gonna move on and help I get a job there, to be honest. That's what I like to do if I don't get it in the first room. Dragon Claw and Slash is doable. Alright, cool. Now we take that death. And we're just gonna move on. I, I, I have... I think I have enough Pokemon to finish the Battle Royale. Uh, actually, I'll buy a Pokemon. I'll buy a Pokemon. For the fans. Okay, let's go twin. So it said 622. It's actually going to be 599 until I beat the Battle Royale. It, like, caps it. But... I should have looked at the move, but that's okay. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need it. This is the, ba the last Battle Royale. So the first wave is typically always the hardest wave in all the Battle Royales. It's just, like, always the most amount of Pokemon, uh, for the most part and um, just chaotic. A lot, a lot of stuff can just like hit you. Um, but since I have like, since I have this move, Dragon Claw, um, it kind of negates that. The hitbox is really, really big. Um, so that kind of helps a lot. So getting past that first wave is really the biggest, or one of the bigger hurdles for this Battle Royale. Um, but I would still say this is probably the harder one. I, I see more, like, typically you see more deaths in rank S because of just, like, trying to go in with nothing to work with. Um, but I think overall this Battle Royale is not the hardest one to beat. So in order to, um, there is a fourth boss here, in order to spawn it, you have to kill at least one of the birds. I like to kill Articuno, because Articuno is probably the biggest troll out of the three. And then I like to leave Mewtwo alive and let it kind of kill other stuff. Its attack does a lot of damage to, like, everything else, um, which is not common for the AI, like, the Pokemon to do that with each other. Usually if another, if another Pokemon hits, um, it hits each other, then it doesn't do that much damage. But the two kills stuff. And time's gonna be when we select the coin after this, so it's coming up in just a couple seconds. The DGs. Not a bad run at all. In time. Alright. <laughs> so that's Pokemon Rumble. Apologies for the mic issue. If there was an issue with the mic. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, being a part of the Pokemon Rumble. Or uh, Pokemon Speedrun. <laughs> Marathon. <laughs> Thanks for letting Pokemon Rumble be in this Vero Marathon. Um, there's so many like resources and different kind of runs and categories to do for this game. There's category extensions, um, lots of guides in multiple different languages. <laughs> there's quite the community. Um, if you want to uh, see more of this, there's going to be the tournament grand finals of any percent no passwords tomorrow afternoon on the speed gaming um channel um have that while you're watching this marathon as well <laughs> um and if you want to see more of me i'll be um on later in the marathon doing pokemon viral evolution so i'm very excited to show off that to you guys um thank you guys for letting me play rumble 
I, I really appreciate um, getting the opportunity to play, like, to show this to people. Uh, it's been my baby. <laughs> I've spear in this game for almost a decade, so I'm glad you guys uh, enjoyed it. So, thank you guys for having me. That'll do it for me. Uh, have a good rest of the marathon. <laughs>